Okay, so what we got here is a pumpkin pie that was uh, built up by uh, one of my friends here. Um, and he's having a little bit of a problem with it. Well, let's take a listen and see what happens. Obviously right now, clean tone. No problems. But the second we stomp on the pedal, we get this irritating noise. Now let's see how many people like uh, just jumped out of their seats listening to that. That sounds an awful lot like an oscillation. So let's see where the oscillation is coming from. So let's uh, take my output lead off. We're just going to use it as a probe. Turn the effect pedal on. Obviously no sound, good thing. So let's take a look at where we can get some sound off of this. Okay, so we have the, pr the schematic printed out right here. So we got something to look at. And this is in the build dock. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start working our way over from the input and work our way through the circuit until we get to uh, what's causing the problem. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check out, check the line kind of as a sanity check to make sure input is at least going through here. And the only thing that you should get is the exact sound of unity when you strum against it. So let's uh, do that. And as we saw on there, that was right here off that resistor. So now I should strum. Not very amplified, but that's just the raw signal coming in, going right back out. So all right, we know we're good. We made it past R1, C1, and R2 with no issues. So now let's go through to the other side of this op amp and see if this op amp's doing any of this oscillation. So we're gonna tie between C3 and C4. Or R3 and R4. All right. R4, so right there. Kind of hard to get a grip on there. Okay, well, I'm gonna strum the guitar first, then see if I get noise. Oh, we get noise, and as you can hear, it's kind of loud. But if you faintly listen, you can kind of hear that hum coming in. So it's faint, so we're starting to see where the issue's coming from. So, now we know on the schematic that if I put a probe here, sound is coming out and it is amplified, as well as it should because this is an amplification circuit. So now, let's take a look at what happens if right here is okay, but you're starting to faintly hear the hum. Let's see what happens when we put our probe right there between R4 and C3. Grab our output and put it right there. I think we have something. As a matter of fact, we can actually disconnect the input of the guitar altogether. So now all there is is battery power. And let's put that output right back there again. It's oscillating. Okay, so we have something uh, uh, sadly wrong here. So let's take a look and see what it might be. Okay, and we're back. Uh, did a little bit of solder tweaking here to make sure that I got all these wires on the other side. Uh, the guy who did it, uh, I don't know what the reason for the staggering was for, but eh, it just irritated me. That's a bit of an OCD thing for me. All the wires gotta come out the same way. <laughs> Anyways, so we already looked at the schematic. We already saw that from here all the way up to here we're good and then something started to happen bad here. So I started looking at the actual components on the board and noticed that C3, which is listed here as 4700 picofarad or 4.7 nanofarad. This red capacitor was in its place, which is, I don't see, let's see if this camera can focus in on something that, like that, but let's see. kind of can see it. And it is if you can see it there in the video better than I'm seeing it on the lens. It's a 47 nanofarad capacitor. So 10 times the amount that's needed. The 
than a 4.7 nanofarad uh, capacitor. Or a, I guess this will be considered a little 400 and, eh, whatever. Anyways, 10 times larger than it should be. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a listen to it now. And mind the fact that yes, there's all this wire outside and whatnot, and that's kind of creating a bit of antennas. So there's going to be a little noise to the circuit, but minus that, we got We have a uh, fully functioning pumpkin pie. I think we got ourselves a fully functioning pumpkin pie pedal. Cheers! <laughs>